welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Last time, we built this incredible powerhouse of a Porsche Panamera Turbo. Speaking of things that are unfair and a little bit unconventional, one of my favorite things to do with cars I haven't yet done in this game, and that's the idea of a sleeper car. For those of you who don't know, because every time I do a sleeper car video, I always inevitably get this question about a thousand times, what is a sleeper car? A sleeper car, for those of you who don't know, is essentially a car that looks very, very slow, but in reality is anything but. It's a car that you wouldn't expect, but is just as fast, if not faster, than something like this. So I was thinking, why don't we do a little bit of Need for Speed Heat sleeper cars versus some supercars. Ank and Fire, why don't you guys go and get some supercars? I will go and get myself a sleeper car, go and build it into the ultimate sleeper car, and then we'll come back out and do some races and stuff and things. Twitch chat, what should I take? It needs to be something that looks really slow or Looks really normal. I hate how I went onto an MX-5 for that. Twitch chat is kind of split between this thing, the Golf GTI, and this, the Volvo 242. Both very, very understated cars. Maybe this one a little bit less because it is a GTI. Okay, now that I said that, Twitch chat explodes in the Volvo spam. Okay. We're representing Team Sweden today. Let's go 242. Hank and Fire, try to keep your cars as stock as possible, and then I will match it in the Volvo. While I wait for you guys to go and build your car, I'm gonna try to make this look even slower than it already is. I don't know if there are gonna be any body mods that will be able to toss onto this. Oh, maybe some taped up headlights. Definitely ghetto, I like it. Yo, this is an actual Volvo part? No way, it kind of debadges it, but it kind of looks stock. Yo, I love that, that's awesome. Do I want a rear wing? Will a rear wing make me look slower? Um, no, no, that kind of gives it away. None of these things make it look slower. Everything's designed to make your cars look better. Oh, those are definitely slower. The old, like, hood rear view mirrors. Why not? I know what'll make this look slow. <laughs> yes, it's kind of cool looking, but at the same time, Really, really, really dumb. Maybe the community's made something. Come on, community. I love the rusty paint job. That's incredible. All right, stance, we need maximum ride height. And our exhaust also has to be completely bone stock. It's not even a bad noise. All right, well, I've made my car look like a sleeper car. Now I need to act like a sleeper car. Fire and Ank are both... 315. Okay, perfect. So I just got to match that. Do I want to swap my engine? Because swapping the engine will definitely give it away if you hurt it. But maybe if I swap it with something like this, a little 1.3, that might not hurt. Okay, never mind. That sounds super modified. <laughs> Yo, is this car Darth Vader or something? I am your father. It's a Darth Vader car. What is that? So I'm gonna keep our stock engine in. I genuinely do not know if this thing's gonna work or be able to build enough horsepower, but I mean, let's give it a go. We'll be able to get grip as well out of our tires, which the other guys won't be able to. That's gonna be as close as I can get with this engine. Doesn't really sound like a Volvo anymore, but what will you do? We're 307, the other, other guys are 315. So we'll be a little bit slower, but we got 500 horsepower. Maybe we can make it up. Check out the sleeper squad. Oh, we got a Harley Quinn Volkswagen Golf. Oh man, and look who we're gonna be up against. Fire and Ang in a Diablo GTR, and that's a GT2 RS. I don't know if my Volvo can match that, lads. I guess good luck to us. Let's start a race and I guess we'll see what'll happen. Where's my favorite racetrack? <laughs> All right, so we got a GT2 RS and a Diablo GTR. Can we take them down? Fire, I appreciate the comedy horn. Oh, there is an AI in a Ferrari all the way up there. We will see if we can beat them as well. I love the C10. No way. 
We're faster than the GT or the, the Diablo. Fire in that Porsche is a pretty quick boy. Yo, we're actually very, very even us three. I did not expect this to be this close. Already right off the bat. The Porsche is a little bit slower than I thought it would be. Look at it though. It's 170 in a Volvo 242. <gasps> no fire. Where did you come from? How are these so equal? It's insane. <laughs> Sit in the slipstream. Oh, he's on the NOS. He's on the NOS. He's pulling away. I'm going to do it as well. Oh, man. He just took off with the NOS. Shake and bake. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Or NOS. Come on. Literally bow. Oh, fire. Literally banging wheels. Gain on this man. Oh, we are better through the corners. It's literally those extra seven PI points. I can't close it in. Can we do a nice corner? Nah, we, we don't have enough to catch up to him. Yo, that was so close. I mean, I'm going to take it. Yo, Ank came first? That Diablo is fast. Damn. Yo, look at us parked up in a cool line. I think our sleeper cars are, in fact, better in the corners. However, this is probably a bad idea. Why don't we give drag racing a go? Ank, it's going to be the first person off the road at the other end. Diablo GTR versus Volvo 242. Chevy C10, whenever you're ready, go for it and we will begin our drag race. Yes, yes, no, yes. Big surprising, very surprising yes. Oh. I've crashed into the finish line. Oh, I am so sorry, finish line. <laughs> I am so sorry. I love your car. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, Ank, we'll give it another go. We'll call that one practice. Yes. Come on. Good start. Wheel spinny. But then we're good. Then we just take off. The Volvo has so much horsepower. It's not even close. You, you remember when I said, hey, our car is better in the corners and has no horsepower. Apparently, I just don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, should we head into the night? Ank, let's see who lives longer. No repairing, no repair kits, nothing, nothing, nothing. You go until you die or until your health is so low, you bank it. Good luck, Ank. I love that Volkswagen. All right, Ank, where, where's Ank? Oh, he's up at the start. Okay, good luck. This isn't so much a race to see who can, whose car is faster. We've already established that mine is superior. However, one of us lacks some driving skill. This is a test of who can live the longest. So maybe we'll do some high heat level races. Uh, the golf just died. If you wreck it into a traffic car, we're gonna blame that on your car's poor handling. Oh, and it begins. Hello, Popo. Oh, never mind. Bye-bye, Popo. Damn, this is just sick. You know the cops are intense. AMG GTR, out of the way. Well, not bad. We're already up to heat level three, Ank. Should we go right away? Do a high heat level race? Uh, Ank, we need to restart. Need for Speed Heat is a great game with no obvious flaws. After our slight technical difficulty, we essentially restarted the lobby, so Ank and I are both on the same heat level as well as the same amount of health. And now we are starting up our first high heat level race. So, Ank, let's continue the challenge. See which one of us lives the longest. This is when... What? Things will get a bit intense. I know my license plate says too slow, but we actually pretty quick in this thing. I love the Volvo. It's such a good car. Oh, uh, look at the Polestar. The Polestar's sick. Uh, I think it's safe to say we're about to get cops up here. Take a look at that mini map. Yeah, that, that was expected. <laughs> hey, we escaping. Oh, never mind. I lied. Oh, man's fast. Get through, get through. Yo, that cop just took so much health off me. Egg. Ank just pit maneuvered the cop. And across the line. Second place. We take a little bit of damage, but we get away from the cop. I think we also... Yeah, we get a high heat level part. That ain't bad. All right, how are we doing? We are currently heat level four. 
Maybe let's leave the city and do a race where our heat level five race is gonna take place. Hank, I'm gonna start up another race. Let me know how you're doing on the health. That cop had a very, very slow reaction. We gone. Okay, Mr. Rubber Bandy Cop. I see you in your court. Okay, can we not do that? I crashed him out. Okay, let me set a waypoint. Let me set a waypoint. Let me set a waypoint. We're going up here. Yo, I I must have just got hit while I was paused. I, I'm at half health. No way. Yo, these cops, get that off my screen. Oh. Hank, this is not going well. Hank, this is really not going well. Guys, I think the Volvo's a little too slow. It may have just occurred to me. Oh, no, not another one. Please, not a... I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. How? Hank was in a cop chase as well. They just went a thousand times harder on the volvo why the cops have to bully the volvo man i guess that's a loss for the volvo 242 apparently ank is at half health no way ank says he died right after me no way i don't know if he was in a cop chase or if he wrecked it the volvo versus the supercars i guess the supercar wins this one but i think we're definitely gonna have to give this another go i love myself a good sleeper car sleeper cars are some of my favorite things and when you can almost get close to beating some supercars it's always a fun thing